Welcome everyone to another lesson on Khadija Academy. Before we start this lesson, hit the subscribe button, the notification bell, and the like button for the YouTube algorithm. Now let's go and start our lesson. Hey everyone, in today's lesson we will discuss active and reactive power in a synchronous machine. This is very important as this will help us understand how can we control the active and reactive power in a static synchronous generator. So by understanding the synchronous machine, we will be able to understand how does the controller work. So let's get back here. Remember that number one, this is a diagram from our course for synchronous machines or in, in our course for electrical machines. If you don't know about synchronous machines, you have to get back. This is very important before you continue this course. Anyway, these diagrams were explained there. What is important for me is that you will find that we have our generator. Okay, here I'm talking about synchronous machine. Forget about the static synchronous generator. Okay, forget about it. We have our generator that produces a voltage E. Two terminals here. It's voltage E. Okay. And between it until the point of common coupling at which we are going to connect to the grid. At this point, we have voltage V. Between all of this, we have an inductance X. Okay. Or reactance X. Sorry. Reactance X. So the voltage of our generator E, voltage at the point of common coupling V, between them we have an X, right? Okay, which is similar as here. You can see E and V, between them X. What you will find is that the equation, equation in a synchronous machine for active and reactive power will be like this. Active power given to the load, reactive power given to the load, BL and QL, which is coming from our generator itself, will be equal to BL and QL, will be equal to EV over X sine delta, and EV over X cosine delta minus V square over X and delta here is our power angle. Okay, so what you will see here is that what is exactly delta? Delta is the angle between the induced EMF or the terminal voltage of the generator itself and the grid voltage. I will explain this in the next slide. Okay. And what I mean by this, you will see that by controlling Delta, you can control how much reactive power you can supply, right? And you will see that for Q, by controlling the induced MFE, you can actually control the reactive power. So let's take one by one. So what you will see here is that as Delta increase, or let's say start from delta equal to zero until delta equal 90. When delta or the power angle is equal to zero, what will happen here is that sine zero gives us zero. So the power reaching to the load, BL is equal to zero, right? What about Q? Uh, sorry, what about delta equal 90 degrees? If delta here equal to 90, then the generator BL will give us the maximum power EV over X. Here exactly you can see B with respect to delta from 0 to 90 degrees. You can see that as delta increases, the generator output power will increase until peak value. Okay, great. So what we can learn from this figure is that for active power by controlling delta, you actually controlling the active power. Okay. Let's understand this in a more uh, formal way. Let's uh, draw our system. So here we have a synchronous static synchronous generator with a terminal voltage. 
V and the angle phi. Similar as E, similar as E in what in our synchronous generator here. Similar to the terminal voltage here for the generator. Okay. And you will see that we have a voltage here at the point of common coupling VBCC and angle theta, right? So we have theta here and we have V and the angle phi. This is the output voltage from our inverter, okay? V and the angle phi. If we draw the phase diagram of these two, it will be like this. We will have the reference, which is zero angle. And you will find that first for uh, VBCC, it will be magnitude and angle theta. You will see that for VBCC and angle theta, the first vector here. The second vector, which is V and angle phi, V and angle phi, right? The difference between these two angle, which is phi of our generator minus the grid angle gives us delta or the power angle which is this one so the higher the difference between these two the higher the difference between these two angles delta higher it means that sine delta will increase it means that power provided to the grid also increases right let's draw our equation or let's write our equation you know that the power given to the grid similar to this similar to this one here you can see v e multiplied divided by x sine delta v e divided by x sine delta similarly here that is what we are going to do so we have v multiplied by vbcc divided by the reactance x V multiplied by VBCC multiplied by X. The two voltages divided by the reactance between them multiplied by sine the difference between these two angles, sine delta. What you will see that is that by increasing the phase shift between the VBCC and V uh, of the output of the synchronous generator, we can increase the active power right so this is how we exactly what we do in our control in the scalar control which you will see in the next lessons is that what we do is that we obtain the grid angle theta and we obtain what power we would like to do would we would like to increase delta or we would like to decrease it and by adding these two together you will get phi right because as you can see here phi is equal to theta plus the required power angle their summation gives us the total angle of our synchronous generator so by controlling switches we can control the angle phi that will achieve the power which we need okay what about the reactive power let's remember from our previous uh, lessons of synchronous machine in a synchronous generator we say that by controlling the field current we can control the strength of the rotating magnetic field and the more field current will lead to more induced emf simply if you would like to do it or would like to explain it remember that in a dc machine forget about synchronous dc machine we know that e or the induced EMF in a DC machine is equal to K, which is a certain constant, multiplied by speed, multiplied by the flux, right? So as the field current increase in a synchronous machine or in a DC machine, by increasing field current, we increase flux, which means we can increase the induced EMF in our machine, right? Exactly the same. By increasing I field in a synchronous machine, we can increase the induced EMF, okay? Which is the magnitude here, the magnitude here, no, magnitude here of this output of the generator itself, 
Okay, now someone will say, what does this even have to do with our reactive power? We would like to control reactive power. What does it have to do with it? I will explain right now. Now you will find that that terminal voltage is at this point, which is that VBCC for us. Now what you will find that is that by increasing that internal EMF or that um, the terminal voltage of our machine beyond the terminal voltage at the grid we can we can reach over excitation when e greater than v and this over excitation when e greater than v the difference between them is translated into a reactive power supplied from e to v and this increase in reactive power depend on the over excitation the degree of over excitation how much you are increasing e beyond v and the excitation system in a synchronous machine regulates field current by changing field current we can change e to make it greater or less than v if it is greater than e is greater than v it means we will give reactive power if it is less than v we will take q from the grid if it is equal to the voltage as the grid then the q will be equal to zero right okay so what does this even have to do with our uh, synchronous uh, synchronous static synchronous generator before i explain this let's look at this equation here because someone will say okay but by increasing e you are actually increasing active power right because induced emf e increases active power increase okay yeah i get it but let's make delta equal to zero i don't lo want to look at power at all i want delta to be zero so when delta is equal to zero then our supplied power is equal to zero okay let's look at this case a case at which we are just controlling reactive power which is this equation here so ql will be equal to e v over x cosine zero means one right minus v square over x so this will be equal to like this e um a v minus v square okay so let's look at this equation here or let's make it much simpler ql will be equal to x take v as a common factor so it will be e minus v so let's look at here if e greater than v then q will be positive which means we are giving q to our load if the terminal voltage is higher than the induced emf then q will be taken from the grid by controlling the difference between these two we can actually control the reactive power okay so in the end what you will see here is that the q is dependent on the magnitude of e right so by controlling the magnitude of the voltage here e we can control reactive power and this is a concept that we use if you get back here to the synchronous static synchronous generator you will see that by controlling phi okay or by controlling delta gives us the reference phi that we need right now by controlling this magnitude v by controlling it we can control the q so as if this one is related to delta this one is related to q or the reactive power so in this case by controlling the magnitude and phase of an output of the inverter using any switching technique we will be able to control active power and reactive power from a static synchronous generator I hope this concept is now clear for you on how are we going to control our system. Thank you for watching this lesson. 
I would like to invite you to our Academy, Khadija Academy Premium uh, Membership, which will help you learn more about electrical engineering. In this Academy or in the Academy Membership, you will find that we'll have more than 100 uh, courses in math, electrical engineering basics, uh, power engineering uh, career uh, preparations. For example, we have electrical design, we have courses on electric circuits, power electronics, ETAB, MATLAB, solar energy, wave energy, wind energy, and much more. You can uh, join our membership for just uh, a small fee per month, or you can just have a lifetime access in which you will get all of current uh, courses and classes, and you can have them forever. And not only this, but any, any new course that will be created, you will be able to uh, watch it for completely free. So what are the classes that I will learn in this membership? You will find different classes in electric circuits. You will find in uh, transformers, magnetic circuits, machines, uh, power electronics, uh, load estimation, lighting design, lightning also design, earthing system, cables, uh, generators, um, light current systems, or low current systems, uh, off-grid design, on-grid design, very, very lot, <laughs> lots of uh, classes and courses in different uh, topics.